hello guys uh, welcome to another tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can create this letterhead for yourself right so this is the letterhead that i created for a car a cry in way back in on the 19th of october and i thought maybe uh it was worth showing you how to do it so you don't have to pay somebody else to create your own letterhead or your own company letterhead it's really simple you don't need any special software or you don't need any designing experience it's simple so i'm going to show you how to do that for yourself all right so yeah as you can see this is what we're going to be doing in this tutorial so yeah but before you get started i just want to ask like if this is your first time please do consider subscribing and i hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we upload a new tutorial so with that being said let's get started right so like i said you don't need any special uh software to come up with this design so what you're going to be using is just microsoft word and microsoft publication right so if you type on your computer you should already be said you don't need to install anything else so i'm just going to open my microsoft publisher first right just come into my computer here and then i just want to create a file right so now to do that you can just create a microsoft publisher right so this one i'm just going to name it let's just say let's have tutorial or something like that let's have tutorial right tutorial tutorial perfect right and then once you create that this is the file that we created right so now it's a publisher remember now i just want to open that so you have that open right so if you can't open publisher like i just did you can always search on your computer just click on your window tab right your start menu your start button and then start typing like publisher right publisher in the search bar and then it should be showing up this is the publisher app so just click on that and then open it right so i already opened mine here now that we have that open so i'm just going to um alter some the sizes of this page so click on page design so i just want to remove the margin here at the edge right you got that so now you cut it right there you don't have any margin i didn't want to have any margin so before we get started i just want to insert the um the logo if you come in here you will see you got this company logo all right got that company logo so that's the company logo that we are going to be using now i just want to insert it to my file right so now to insert there are two ways to ins to insert your image into this publisher um, file i'm going to show you the longest way you can do that is just come into insert and then click on image picture here click on picture once you click on picture you should get this opening up on your computer now you have to find the picture that you want to search for on your computer so i'm just going to find it yeah yeah right so i want to use this logo right here and then you can click on insert so now you insert that right that's the longest way to insert a picture into publisher but then the quickest way if i were just to delete this the quickest way you can just go to your computer come to your computer find the picture that you are trying to put on there and then this is the logo and then drag it as you can see i'm dragging it and then come down here and then you drop it down into your publisher so that's the quickest way whichever way you prefer to use for me i prefer the quickest way so this is actually if you are going to be inserting anything this is the way we are going to be using which is the quickest way now i just want to this is the image right so now the next the first thing i just want to add some format to this image click on format and then i just want to wrap text i just want to leave it to none right so for now this is the image i'm not going to do anything at the moment to this image right so now the next thing if you don't go into our final project let's just open it up i want us to install to insert this this at the top here everything that is on here so let's work on that come back here now what i want us to do click on insert and then i want you to come to shape now i want you to click on this um rectangle here it's here and then on the recent so you can click whichever now i just want you until you get that cross node so now press and then just drag it you can give it 
asterisk as you can see i'm dragging it don't let it go just asterisk so i'm just going to drag it until let's say here right now you got it right there now let's change the color of this so i'm just going to make sure you place it and then you get this format tab so now click on that format tab and then you get the shape fill now the color there is no color that i want to use i want to use this color which is on this logo here so to do that once you click on shape fill just click on this sample fill color then you get this pen click on that you get this pen so now i want you to come to this color here so that's how you and then once you place on that you see you got that color which is the same as this so that's how you get that color right now the last thing that i want to do is just come to this shape and then remove the shape outline as you can see if i was to zoom in here you see you got this black border here so i don't want that border so click on that and then click on shape outline and then adjust no outline right you cut that let me just zoom out a little bit so i don't confuse you right so this is what we have so far now the next thing that i want to do just as you can see you can move this you can move it so now i just want you to move it at the edge here right so because if you look into our final project you will see it's at the edge here right so perfect now move it at the edge and then you will see you can just put some format on it make sure you once you click on here you see you got this height and then this width so you can just move it and whichever way it fits for you so i'm just going to let's say drop it down until there right you got it right that perfect so now the last the next thing that i want us to insert so so this right here right so and then this line right so now let's to add the line again you come down to this shape you can shape and then i just want to insert the shape and then i want to insert this left angle right get that and then i just want to drop it until the air here right and then you want to use the color click on shape fill and then make sure you click on it and then use this color right and then you want to remove that border the outline that like we did click on shape outline and then remove the outline right so now you want to move it until here so you can move it there and then you have it right there and then you have to scroll it until you reach this size until it get to this point right and then you can also resize it i don't want it to be that big so have it right there right you got that right there now the next thing is put this one is let's look at this this right here this uh orange or yellowish right so now to do that come back here and then i want us to insert right insert it insert the shape and then i just want to use the rectangle right you cut that rectangle right there right perfect so now next thing that i want us to do just click on this first let's get, make sure you click on it let's wrap text i want to put it to none and then the shape color i want it to be this color which is yellow so i can do the same click on sample fill and then just click on this color right there and then you got that color now i want you to remove that border so click on no outline and then you got it right all right perfect so now what i want us to do the next thing i want us to do is put it this way but then as you can see it has been uh it's shaped like this it's not straight right so now to do that i have to come here as you can see you got that um curve arrow so now i want you to rotate it just drag and then you rotate it right until that like that and then now you can just click on it and then move it this way right and then let me just zoom in so that you can see it so i don't confuse you right so now you see it's not straight right so to keep it straight move it and then rotate it the other way until it starts straight right and then just rotate it one more until it starts straight and then you can move it now with publisher whatever it's outside of this white paper whatever it's outside it will just be cut off so this will just be cut off it won't be showing this edge out will just be cut off once you save it 
so everything that will be shown on your final project will just be anything that is in between your page right here so this don't mind with this it will just be cut off now you cut it right there so they just move it close now what we want to do is just move this in and then until it reach this side right you cut it right there now you want it to be to move it be, um, behind this line so click on it and then just move it behind and then as you can see you got it behind that line right perfect so now the next thing that you want to do just enlarge this and then move this a bit closer you can just click on it and then move it a bit closer because as you can see in your final project right here you just got a simple line something small it's not that big so move it closer right you got it right there now if you look with to zoom in you will see you cut this at the bottom here but you don't want that so you want it to cut it off so now what you can do I just zoom uh, back out now click on that and then just copy it right click and then just copy right and then you can paste it down here we have this to so paste it down here right so now you want to make sure you cut this off to do that just change the color click on that and then click on format and then click on shape field you want this to turn it to white as you can see let me just put the border so that you can see how it's looking right you change the color right so now what you want to do is move it here so that you can cut off that edge just move it right there right you got it right there now you want to remove the edge the outline so that you can remove that right now you will see it cut off this one which is behind and then it leave a straight line right perfect you won't even notice that it's there but if you were to zoom in and then you click you will see it's there right perfect you got it right there now what i want us to do if we find our prono prono project you see we want to let's add this this side as well right so now what you want to do come back instead of inserting a new shape you see you already use this so it's the same it's just a bit smaller so to do that they just copy this and then copy that and then just paste it down here and then you get it right there so now what you have to do is just flip it you can rotate it or flip it so rotate that and then you can rotate it that way right and then the same way here copy that and then paste and then again you can rotate it or flip it so i'm going to flip it vertically and then you see you got it right there all right so now i want to move it this way right and then move it that way but then it's way off so it's big you have to resize it so to do that come here and then just resize it let's make it a bit smaller until you see fit so i'm just going to leave it at that right so now you do the same with this do you see fit drag it and then move it this way right i just move it this way right and then as you can see i scroll down so i move it this way now you have to rotate it like the same way do you see that let's zoom in so we don't leave too much space rotate do you see it's straight and then make it a bit smaller you don't want it that big smaller and then like i said anything that is outside here so let's just right anything that is outside here on your final project will just be cut off so let's just zoom it in let's say until that side right so now you have to put it behind this click on it and then send it backward then as you can see it's backward to add it it's right there so if i was to move up you'll see you got it right there this side and then that side right perfect so if you feel like you are getting value out of this so far make sure you give this video a thumbs up so yeah let's continue now what i want us to do if you look into our final final project here you will see i just want to add the logo and then this text here right so that's the logo as you can see we already added it now we just want to make it a bit smaller so just come to the edge and get that cross and then put it in drag it in right you see you got it right there and then just click on it and then move it this way right you move it that way now 
can see I want to uh, crop it a little bit. Let's say let's make it a bit smaller. And then like that. Let's say like that. And then you can if you have the edge you can always crop it so i'm just going to crop mine click on format and then just crop it because i want to remove this down here down there and just crop it like that and then i can move it down right so just like that to put it right there right so let's add the text which is the title which is this title, the line, and then this company information. So for that, I'm just going to add the title. You just come to your home, make sure you have this draw text box. So click on that and then just draw it. As you can see you have drawn it right there. You can even move it here. It's nothing. So now you can just type your company name. I'm just going to write your company. Start typing your company name. So you have it right there now i'm just going to change the size of this so highlight your text your company name and then come in here so you can change the size and then you can put it let's say 28 now the next thing i want to do is change the font family which is a font so come here make sure you are on your text or you can come to your home and then just you have this and then i'm just going to use let's use Arial. choose Arial black right you got that and then let's just move it if your text are cut off just enlarge it so it get bigger enlarge it so it get bigger right and then you have that now to change the color you want the color of this i wanted the color of this to be the size of this right so to do that click on highlight and then come to your text format right and then text field or you can be on your home tab and then this right here font color and then you can come to sample font and then just come here you see you want it that color down here and then once you over you see it has changed to that color it's no more black right you got that perfect so now you cut it right there you can choose whatever font again you can choose Arial or you can choose Tahoma which is also a perfect color to use and then you can just bold it if you want to right and then you want to come make this um uppercase so highlight it and then make sure you're on your home tab click on this a here change case and then just all cases so you can use whatever uh, tab you want right you got that so let's just make this a bit smaller so that we have enough space on there let's make it to 22 at least right and then you just put it in the center right we have it right there perfect now let's put the line under here and the line so to do that just click on insert and then the line shape you want this line so just underline drag it now to change as you can see this open a milk so you open this format tab click on it open the format set and then you want it to keep it straight so remove the one from here and just tap zero and then that will straighten it now you want it to move it down drag it until you move it down here now again you want it just until here move it on the edge and then on the edge as well right so let's move it a bit on this edge one more and then you can change the shape or you can come change the shape here on the width and then just let's say if you were to add to nine and then you will see you add the shape now let's just take it back to eight so it's straight and then that's the color which is black you can always change the color once you select it format and then shape outline if you want to you can choose a different color so but for me i'm just going to leave it let's say to this black right here right you cut it right there perfect this is your company name now let's add your company details down here so i'm just again you can come here draw make sure you're on your home 
throw text box and then just drag it drop it down here right so on this you have like your cell phone number you can add your email or i mean your company cell phone details contact details and then uh, your email address and then your PO box as well so i'm just going to add let's say cell right this is your cell phone you can put whatever two six four eight one and then just two three four five six seven eight or seven so they have to be ten eight so just a random cell phone number it's just a random right you got your cell phone or let's say you got two of them and then put plus and then just the second one let's just copy this and then let's say you have two contact number for your company so just write your contact number and then i'm just going to paste this right let's move it down here right you have that now the next thing press enter to move down the row and then you can add like your email let's say email i'm just going to mail your company i mean let's just say mail at your company or something like that your company.com right you got that your company that's your email and then you can just maybe add like your p.o box which is your address your p.o box right let's just say one two three and then the town which is let's say valve Bay, and then the country let's say namibia right you got the p.o box right so now you want to once you look into this you know for our project you see you have it centered on the edge and the center so you want to center it to center your text just highlight everything and then make sure if you're, you can if you're on your home tab you can click on this center and then as you can see you have center then right so now i want us to change the font so i'm going to highlight change the font and then just put it let's say i want to use this dw send empty it's my favorite font to use so you have that and then i just want to change the font size a little bit let's say maybe make it to 11. now move it down let's hope it fits here right as you can see it doesn't fit there so now you can change the font back to let's say to 10 so to make sure they fit i'm just going to move this up a little bit and then move this a little bit up select this let me move this out of the way so um, for now and then just move this move that and then let me move it back see if they fit yes yeah, still some more space a little bit of space needed okay a little bit of space needed and then move this up here and then let's see now if they fit right you got them right there then i fit so just make sure you fit them somehow in there so this is your top right so now you're done with the top as you can see the top is perfect you're done with the top now let's move at the bottom so if you move into our final project if you look here now at the bottom you see you got this and then you got the logo here and then some text and then this line so let's start with this and then we can move on to that right so now you have that then you again you don't want to put so we have you already know it's the same as this so just click on this and then copy that now you have to come drop it down at the bottom all right drop it down here and then you want it to stretch it out so just stretch it a little bit let's say like that yeah up to there so just make sure you stretch it now come back here with this one as well then copy that and then paste it down and then again let me just zoom in so i can show you how i'm working with this and then as you can see it's not straight you want to drop it all the way here and then just change the side right and then you have to drop it until this just change the size here now as you can see it's not straight so rotate it like you did with the others now move it closer 
just sort of take it one more a little bit till there and then move it closer right close so like i said everything that is at the edge out of this page won't be showing on your final project so don't mind too much about that right now if you come here if you look into our final project you see this it has been cut off at the edge here so to do that just insert you can just insert a shape right click on shape insert it you see you got a shape right i'm just going to text wrap to none and then you will see and then the shape field i want to shape it to white so for now let's leave those air so you can know how what i'm working with and then i just want you to drop it right here down there right you got it right there now nothing that i want us to do is just change remove the shape outline you can know outline and then as you can see it has been cut off you won't even notice that that shape is there right so now let's use the logo and then put it this side and then the text as well and then the line and then some text so first of all let's add the insert the line at the bottom click on insert and then the line and then you want to insert this line until here right just drag it and then to make it straight remove the two there and then just put zero there then as you can see it's straight right and then the last thing that i want to do just come up here copy the logo and then copy that logo and then you want to drop it down here right you want to drop it down here and then again you want to make it a bit smaller right so just drop it down here like that you got that logo right there whichever way fits for you all right got that so now let's add some text at the bottom here these are just some text which is just the company name and then the location and stuff like that and then the center number or something so let's put it down here now to do that again instead of installing the throw text you can just come here copy this text box that you already did right and then now paste it down here you see you got it right there right so i just add some random text or something this is just some random text so you can add some text like which is the company name and then the location and then the register number or something you can put them down here some random text right i just say this is just some random text some random text right copy that let me just paste it maybe like a couple of more times and then right one one at the top and then one at the bottom so just copy that and then let's say you have that so those are just some random text you can resize your text box like it right make it a bit smaller you got it right there those are your text and then you can just move them down you can just move them down until you put it in the middle right you got it right there see down and just move it maybe up a little bit like that right see that perfect cut them right down done with your letterhead it's simple and easy now the next thing that you want to do is just save this right save it come on come to save as file save as and then you want to save this as a picture right or right you can save this as a picture save this as a jpg right save that as a picture and then you save that yeah that you save it so now let's go find it on our computer go back to your computer and find it where you save it as you can see it's here let's ahead tutorial right so just open that to see how it's looking right you see you got it right there that's your letterhead simple letterhead now obviously you're going to be using it into microsoft word where you are typing your or if you are doing it for a client then you obviously have to send them into insert it into their microsoft word where they can be able to type and have it on their let's say on their letter or, the, or their testimonials and stuff like that 
So what to do that? I just create the Microsoft Word document. And then this is the Microsoft Word document. I just say let's ahead. Let's name it let's ahead tutorial as well. Let's ahead tutorial. Right? Open that and then let's just open it. So you open your Microsoft Word. Now you want to insert your let's ahead. So like this is the let's ahead. You want to insert it this letter head that you just created all right so now to insert it in here you have to click on insert right like we did in the last time and then picture and then you have to find it on your computer so i'm just going to find it in my computer and just say find it where did you keep it i think it's somewhere in kindota just browser 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 control medium then tutorials so this is the let's ahead insert the picture find it and then insert it so once you insert it you will see it has been inserted in here right so now make sure you'll be able to move it so let's add some format to this now i want you to add the position i want you to put it let's say behind in there in in front of the text and then you can be able to move it around so the text web they just put it uh behind the text right move it around as you can see you can move it around freely now i want you to copy this copy it and paste it down here so that you can have it two times now you will see you got two of them right so one is going to be a header and then one is going to be a footer so now you have to put this into a footer so what I want to do is crop this first. I want you to crop this, select one, and then crop it. Click on crop. And then just crop it down. Crop it down. Till here. This is going to be your footer. You crop it down. Now crop the other one. And then click on that format and then crop. And then I want you to crop it until down here scroll down and then until here let's say here and then just drag out now you have two pictures one is your footer and then one is your header right so now i want you to move this put this into the header because it can't be on here so now i want you to cut this or you can even just copy it for the sake of so that you don't make any mistake just copy this and then i want you to open your footer now to open the footer you can come here and just double click and then as you can see your footer has your header has opened up and then your footer has opened up as well or if you're having trouble you can just click on that and then just click on insert right and then come to header click on header right open the header and then just click on edit header and then that will open up your header so now click you are in your header now click paste that image that you just copied right so you can see you have it here now you want to move it until here on the edge and then you want it to come until here so just drag it drag it let's say until that side right you have your footer right there you see that perfect so now just cross it off as you can see you have it right there so you don't more need this so just select that and then delete that right so do the same to your footer click on here on your picture copy now open your footer or footer and then edit and then you have it here and then come in here paste right your footer move your image let's say let's move it on this side and then drag it right here until you reach yeah let's just say like that right you got it right there now that's your footer and then cross it off and then we have it right there so delete this now you have your footer and then your i mean your header right perfect so now if you look into our final project you will see you got this image in the middle right here so this is just a watermark the company logo that they add to the watermark so if you want to do the same or you don't know how to add a watermark 
now let's just click on uh on design right click on design sorry click on design and then click on watermark right and then you want to click on custom watermark custom watermark you want to use the picture and then you want to click on select you want to work offline since you want to use the picture that is on your computer and then you can just choose the picture in your computer so let's just find that logo it's somewhere 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 in here and then that logo this is a logo that you want to use and that's in set and then you want to you want it to be washed out so make sure you unmark that and then just apply and then as you can see you have it right there so just close it so you have your watermark so now you have your logo and then you have your header and then your watermark as you can see you can be able to type you can be able to type in this document so you created the letter here this is the document that you will be using and you can send it right you can be typing in and then you can just save so yeah you're done with everything so if you had to save this as a phpdf you are done but let's just say how it's looking save it as a pdf and then save that then you see you got it right there you created your simple letterhead for your company it's really simple really simple really simple so yeah that was it for this tutorial i hope you find this video helpful and i, I hope it helped you somehow and i you enjoyed it now if you did make sure you give this video a thumbs up uh, leave us a comment down below now if this was your first time please do consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time i put a new tutorial so with that being said that's it for this tutorial i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out peace love and unity